The skill stock has come under considerable pressure over this year and the stock really hasn't performed very well. In fact, in the last year alone, it is down more than 50% and this has a lot of investors concerned. So in this video, I'm gonna be walking you through my personal analysis on the stock and then at the end of this video, I'm gonna be giving you my personal prediction in terms of where I think the stock is headed. And like all the stocks we review here on the channel, we're gonna be putting the stock through a detailed 18 point checklist. But before we do that, I wanna just very quickly look at some of the historical pricing on the stock. Now, like I mentioned here to date, the stock is down 53%. If we look at the last six months, we can see it is down 61%. In the last month, 31%, and in the last five days, 10%. However, there is a little bit of life in the last day. The stock has moved up 4.77%, and this has got a lot of those investors pretty excited, and of course, hoping that this could be the start of a very big rally. Now, before we get into that 18-point checklist, I wanna just very talk about some of the analyst ratings. So analysts are talking about the fact that revenue is forecast to grow at about 24% uh, over the next year, for the next three years. They talk about the fact that revenue grew by 74% over the past year. But as they have rightfully pointed out, some of the big risk factors is the fact that shareholders have been diluted quite dramatically uh, over the last year, especially. And uh, it is currently unprofitable and is not forecast to become profitable for at least the next three years. And then there is, of course, the big elephant in the room, which is that price volatility. Now, just very quickly on our stock overview, the current market cap is sitting at 3.4 billion. Uh, if we look at that price, currently sitting at 845, negative net margin, they have an equity to market cap of 6.82% and negative free cash flow. By the way, if you'd like to access the stock sheet and get to all the numbers and all the details, you can go and download it absolutely free of charge at globalmoneyacademy.com. Create a free account and go to the stock sheets section. Now, also just quickly looking at the key ratios. Again, I'm not gonna go through everything. I wanna get you to the 18 point checklist as quickly as possible because I know that you want the verdict as quickly as possible. But if you are interested in the detailed numbers, you can go and get the stock sheet. Uh, looking at uh, the price to sell, it is trading at a multiple of 8.62. Uh, insult, insiders hold about 15% of the stock. And of course, the thing that everybody is talking about is the short ratio. 13.54% of all shares currently outstanding are shorted. And this is on a ratio of 3.17. They have a very, very healthy current ratio sitting at 7.11. Year on year, if we look at how they've performed financially, Again, I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but the top line revenue is where they have been focusing. And in most of the investor presentations, this is what you're gonna hear about. But what you need to be aware of is that they are still producing negative bottom line figures. So net income, operating cash flow, and free cash flow are still in the red. And that means that the earnings per share is still in the red. Now, when we come down to our 18 point checklist, this is broken up into three key areas. First of all, fundamentals, second momentum, and third growth. In terms of the fundamentals, uh, we can pretty much see that they are doing not too bad. However, the P ratio is non-existent net margin is in the red and shareholders have been diluted substantially. On the plus side, uh, the assets are greater than liabilities, dividend cost is less than free cash flow, they obviously don't pay a dividend, and the debt to equity is less than 40%, whilst the current ratio is greater than one. So on the fundamental side, not too bad. And then looking at the momentum factors on top line revenue, especially total revenue and gross profit, they're doing okay, year on year growth for the last three years. Unfortunately, on the bottom line revenue, which is operating income, net income, operating cash flow, and free cash flow, they've been inconsistent, so we cannot mark them up for that. And then looking at our growth pillar, they pretty much don't score anything, and that is because they haven't had any consistent growth numbers out of our key elements, such as return on equity, return on uh, asset, and invested capital. Now, when we come down to our intrinsic evaluations, this is where we essentially look to put a valuation to the company and compare that to the market cap and decide whether the business is overvalued or undervalued. On the free cash flow model, we obviously cannot use this model because uh, the business currently has negative free cash flow, so that would bring us out to a negative evaluation. Now, of course, coming down to the next model, which is the earnings per share, this is also not valid because we are looking at a negative earnings per share, which once again means they are coming out to a negative valuation. So. Our final verdict on the stock is probably gonna be a little bit of a mixed bag of tricks for a lot of investors. 
On the fundamental side, they have certainly improved over the last couple of months. On the momentum side, top line revenue and gross profit is looking good. However, they've got a long way to go to prove actual profits. And of course, on the growth numbers, those are just not gonna happen until they start getting some key momentum in terms of making net revenue and producing some free cash flows to reinvest back into the business. So with that said, the analysts have a price target out of about $15.50. We believe that that is very, very, um, out of tune with the current situation, especially the fact that growth stocks are coming under a lot of pressure going into 2022. And so we believe that $10 is a very, very um, good estimation of where the stock would end. Obviously trying to remove some of the sentiment out of the market, as well as balancing some of the potential growth that could be happening. So with that said, there is a potential margin of about 18% in the stock. But we believe this is a very, very speculative play because they have overall not the greatest fundamentals and uh, certainly weak momentum and very weak growth. So if you are going to be investing in skills, do know that it is a speculation play. And certainly you need to be very, very careful of not overextending yourself in the investment. Now, if you do have any questions, if you do have any comments, uh, if you'd like uh, us to go through any additional details that we maybe missed, let us know in the comment section down below. Like I said, if you'd like the extended stock sheet with all of the numbers you can go and review, go to our website, globalmoneyacademy.com. You can download it absolutely free of charge. There's no tricks to this. Uh, we just wanna try and deliver our videos to you guys as quickly as possible and give you our verdicts in as quicker time as possible. In fact, our goal is to do it under 10 minutes. So we are, of course, going straight into the 18 point checklist. We're not focusing on all the individual numbers, but if you are interested in those numbers, the stock sheet is available to you.